Okay, so I knew there was more. I knew there was more, and I found it. So this is this is also uh, an addition, um, another Daiso. So I got felt, and everything that I bought was a dollar fifty. Um, oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I got this little kit to make a little bear, and I got this little felting kit to make a ducky, and I got this extra pack of felt, or not felt, but wool roving, yeah, wool felt. Um, I got this little needle kit, it's got all kinds of needles, $1.50, you can't beat that. Needles are expensive. I got embroidery floss, of which I used some of the yellow to repair a mesh, uh, like a washer, a bag that you put your washer, well, um, you put your delicates in in the, in the thing. My sister had a, uh, one of those bags and she needed it repaired and I said, oh, I'll fix it. She was gonna throw it out, I said, I'll fix it. So, and then I got this beautiful little tray. And um, so that's what I got at Daiso. And then, um, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Um, there, this is like, we, you know, we're in South Florida. It's warm here. We have a lot of homeless people here. And um, so I'm not, you know, I'm not unfamiliar with homeless people, but a lot of the homeless people here, um, if you don't have money for them, you know, at least the ones I come across, if if I don't have money for them, they're not, you know, happy. Um, like, they're really not asking for food, some of them. Um, they're ask I guess maybe I'm asking the wrong people if I can help them, but they want money and that's it. Anyway, in Southern California, there are a lot of homeless people. And um, people, those people, for the most part, are um, just people that can't, that can't cut it in the economy. And um, um, the people of California are so warm and wonderful. And I, I saw a, um, an exchange between people that was wonderful. I saw homeless people accepting food from, from people. The people that were giving the food was giving them warm, you know, delicious food. Um, they were, they would see, I saw people in cars drive up next to a homeless person open their trunk and hold up clothes warm clothes to see what fit and like offering them shoes to see if they fit um out of the clear blue sky so um i want to say that made me feel really warm and fuzzy about southern california people and um and yes i, I that that did my heart good so we went to goodwill no, Salvation Army to donate my some of my brother-in-law's things. Well, really all of my brother-in-law's uh, clothes and shoes. And um, when we pulled up, there was a, um, <clears throat> a man with a cart. And uh, he was dressed in all camo, but he looked very clean. And he had his cart full of stuff, and he had three dogs. And uh, he had two pit bulls and a chihuahua. And they were all on leashes tied to his cart, and he was walking, and he stopped his cart up against the building and it was cold and um he had um there were a camouflage jackets on all the dogs including the chihuahua i just thought that was adorable and we watched you know we were pulling up and we watched to see what he was going to do because we both said oh that's so sweet and um he put blankets down for his dogs and made his dogs comfortable before um before anything else was done which i thought was wonderful and my sister said i'm gonna see if he can fit any of these clothes and shoes so my sister opened her trunk and she went over to him and asked him if he was in need of anything and um my sister gave him the shoes did not fit but my sister gave him warm clothing and um that just you know that my sister in all of her pain was uh still aware of someone else's need i just love that about my sister so anyway, all right, so now I'm working on four minutes. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I went into the thrift store. You know, we when you're grieving, you still have to do, you have to carry on and do things and, you know, little things to take your mind off of the immediate situation and stuff. So my sister and I walked around inside the thrift store um, and uh, this is what I got. Now this thrift store was another thrift store. This is, um, uh, this was at the Jewish Federation 
and where she had gotten a lot of her furniture when they, you know, when they got the apartment. And, um, and uh, they had beautiful furniture, I mean, beautiful furniture for like dirt cheap. And um, so we wanted to give them some things. So we um, gathered up a bunch of uh, housewares and stuff and, and, and took them over there. And I went in there. And this is what I found there. I found this, these, this bag of feathers and it is the most beautiful, soft, champagne -y tan color. If you can, uh, well, that's that's bad, Janet. Bad. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's gorgeous. And I've got this bag, and it was like five bucks, which is a little much for a thrift store bag of. Uh, but you know what? I don't care because it helped those people. So I got that. Let me hurry up. Okay. And then I got these two trims. I got this bag of trim, and it's oh so pretty. Let me see if I can do it justice here back up can you see that trim um, anyway I got that and that was three three ninety nine and um, and then I got this one and this is and this is these are glass beads and I got this one and it's oh so beautiful with that with that um, beige feather with this beige background it's just beautiful. So I got this for $3.99. And, um, <clears throat> and that's what I got. And that's where I've been. And that's what I've been doing. And, you know, life happens and we have to um, carry on. So I'll be back. I'm going to try to catch up with, um, with all of your videos. And any of my California friends, I'm going to be going back to California probably in a, in, in a couple of months. Maybe during the summer um, with my sister to visit family. So maybe we can... Uh, anybody that would be interested in, in meeting up, you know, um, uh, message me and um, and we can like exchange information. I will probably be staying either in Mission Viejo or in Sherman Oaks. So um, we'll talk to you later. Love you all. Missed you. Now I'm going to go catch up. I, catch, I caught up with a lot of my housework, so now I'm going to catch up with you guys. Bye.